Kate, new at 10, President Joe Biden is shifting his focus from the pandemic to boosting the economy. Today, he unveiled a $2 trillion infrastructure plan. It would improve roads and bridges across the country, boost manufacturing, expand broadband access, and replace all lead pipes carrying drinking water. Biden says his plan will create millions of jobs that will help boost the economy. It's a once-in-a-generation investment in America, unlike anything we've seen or done since we built the interstate highway system and the space race decades ago. In fact, it's the largest American jobs investment since World War II. President Biden plans to pay the hefty price tag by raising corporate taxes. Way 31's Alex Torres Perez joins us live now. She spoke to people in Alabama about their thoughts on Biden's plan. Alex. People I spoke with had mixed opinions on the plan, but there's one thing they could all agree on. Roads here in Alabama need some improvement. And if President Joe Biden's plan passes, you'll start seeing signs like these across the country. They're pretty messed up. Could be due to the weather right now, but they do need worked on bad. James Manis, along with many others, says roads in North Alabama need improvement. The state passed a 10 cent gas tax increase in 2019 to help fix them. They're getting better. You know, um, I see it's a lot of work going on. Now, President Joe Biden is proposing his American Jobs Plan. It would invest $621 billion to rebuild 20,000 miles of road, 10,000 bridges, public transit, waterways, and ports. People have to get around, you know, the money, you know, money don't stop. And if we don't have roads to get, you know, get to places where we need to get, then how are we going to make the money? However, many are concerned with the plan's $2 trillion price tag. I think it's way too much, way too much of a bill for sure. To help pay for eight years of spending, Biden is proposing to raise taxes on major companies. The corporate income tax rate would increase from 21 percent to 28 percent. The rate had been as high as 35 percent before former President Donald Trump cut taxes in 2017. President Trump dropped that and where they could hire more people and get more people to come back in from other countries that had left. Now you're going to have people packing their bags, going back out of the country. That's totally opposite what we need. U.S. Senator Tommy Tuberville says Biden's plan is not feasible. You can't tax enough to pay for this. There's not, there's not enough money in this country. Some people in North Alabama are also concerned with the corporate tax increase. Bigger companies could use a spend a little more, but probably more than he's wanting to put out on them. While others say they can afford to pay the higher taxes. They could give back. You know, they, why not make the world beautiful, you feel me? Like, that's a way for them to give back to the community, and I think, you know, they should do it. You know, it's, it's, it shouldn't hurt their pockets. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi hopes to pass this plan by July 4th, if not later that month. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden is expected to announce a second proposal later in April. That proposal will focus on health care and home-based issues. Biden says both plans are essential for our economic future. Reporting live in Huntsville, Alex Torres-Perez, Way 31 News.